Now this marks the official launch of the Prime Architectural Response Vehicle Scheme. Umenti rang ba ka jela o kondrat ki sang ma ulap lait pat ba e ki kali yarap e ki naurap ha farm ma meti a pasulong ha ka jindan lang ikong amprin lang do isawan da lalu bat ki he ki haan jaka tanat penroy ya ka rap karyang. Ha ka jinkran umenti rang ba o kondrat ki sang ma ula ong ba ka rap karyang ka dey ka way na ki tanat ba ay buon tam ki kam ki jam e ki pal ba kam tam e ki samla ha ka ni ka jela. Ula ong ba ha megalia pra pao persen na ki pat nong shong shong ki ims ngi ha ka rap karyang. Dei kini kinong rep ki ba pendap e ki peliang jaju ki pat ba man na kasi. Namar kata kasor kar ka pahay ki kemat bakar pang sya kinong rep ban ay ki jingker sya na pat jingir rap ha ki ba buon ki liang ha ki kam ki jam jogi. Lengba ka skim ay jingker sya na kinong rep bala jir kerteng da ka prime agriculture response vehicles kasor kar ka lathir ars pa atli ki kali ban syakri e ki pat ba nong rep ha baro ki distrik juga jela ban penyat da ki cooperative society jang kinong rep. Ulang rupa kesorkar kelak pria bun kilat kilenti ban kentil ban ban yarap ikin orang kenang bagin kiu kayu kakot bagin kelan kerap keriang hagi nong kendong. We are this is part of the bigger plan is what I'm trying to tell you. So hence today we have distributed just twenty vehicles out of the two hundred in the first phase. I'm happy to inform you that we have agreed to give another 200 vehicles in the next phase. That means 400 vehicles is what we'll distribute. And not only that, my target is that in the next five years, we should have minimum of 1,000 vehicles in this agri-response system. And only then will we see a strong fleet of vehicles at the availability of the farmers to be able to utilize it and not be manipulated by large buyers who will then you know, not allow the transportation to take place, you're not able to take your product to the market and you're forced to sell your product at a cheaper rate. No. The farmer must be in control of the situation. You must be able to decide whether you want to sell the product or not. Just because you don't have a vehicle to take your product or vehicle to bring back your product or you just because you don't have the cold storage to store the product for one night, two nights, three nights, if you are at the mercy of the buyer and the middleman, then that is exactly where the problem lies. And that is what we want to solve. And I'm not saying we'll do it in one day, two days, three days or one year. It is a process. It will take time. But the work has begun. And obviously for this to happen, for the private sector to grow, many things are required. To be able to cater to this 95% requirement of jobs in the private sector, we need to ensure that we have the right environment in our state. We need to ensure that we are looked at as a state that is peaceful and as a state where we can invest in, so that tomorrow big hotels can come and invest. Through the hotels, jobs are created. Through these hotels, the agriculture sector is benefited. All of these are connected. So for investments to grow, we need to have the right environment, the right ecosystem. We also have to remember that while we do that, we need the private sector to come in, which means all of you. We need the entrepreneurs, we need the IVCS groups, we need the members, secretary, presidents. So in this entire economy of our state, while we're trying to boost up our private sector, Agriculture and food processing plays a vital role to ensure that we are able to provide economic benefits to our people so that we are able to create the employment that's required for this 45, 47,000 youths that are joining every year. Every year. So while yes, we may talk about government jobs, but let me tell you, there are only 1% of so that we are able to get advantage of the entire ecosystem. Where is it that the farmers are having problem? What is it that they need? How do we fill those gaps? 
it requires the master plan to be in front of us. We cannot do just you know distribution of vehicles because tomorrow election is coming, or just because some people come and ask us for vehicles, we just give the vehicles. No, it's not. We created the IBCS because we knew that until unless we have an organized institutional framework where the farmers are then connected to a system, no matter what benefit we get, ultimately it may not go down to the grassroots. So you need the wiring or the piping to take place. Once the piping takes place, whatever you pour in the tank reaches to the public. And hence the 